Hi there. I'm Wan Lei Chang, a partner at McKinsey and Company in our education practice. I'll be joined in a second by Terry McDonough and John Katzman. Terry is the president of Alternative Learning at Strategic Education, mission-driven higher ed company, which is focused on innovative learning experiences to prepare students for the workforce. And John is the CEO of Noodle Partners. Before founding Noodle, John founded 2U in the Princeton Review and serves on several for and nonprofit boards. Hi, Terry and John, thanks for joining. So I much. thought I'd just tee this up, uh, maybe Terry to you first, but would love, John, your thoughts to the title of this panel, Employer Sponsored Education Benefits, a Missed Opportunity. Tell us a bit about what exactly is the missed opportunity? Who's missing out? How much value is on the table? Well, I think we're grateful to be part of this forum here, both John and I, strategic education through Strayer University and Capella University have served employers for a long time and done it in ways that um, really have been focused on the labor market challenges that um, companies are facing. One of the you know, trends that we are aware of is that productivity in the workforce has been trending down. And as we all know, employees are not really getting the skills they need. And we know that skilled workers um, are those that you know, have uh, opportunities to enroll in education We've seen evidence that students who are actually enrolled while um, employed are actually more productive than those that are not. So there's the opportunity to really solve that skills gap. So companies are missing out on lost revenue. This is something that employees are asking for more and more. How can we actually get skills? And we know employers are providing the benefit, but people aren't using it. That's exactly right. Um, only about 5% of the employees at companies that offer education as a benefit are, uh, that, that offer higher ed as a benefit are taking advantage of it. And I think there are two reasons for that. One, um, the schools that are made available to them aren't the right schools. They are um, too far away. Most online learners still study within 50 miles of home. And they're, um, they're also not great schools a lot of times. Uh, so we, work with uh, several dozen of the top universities in the country. Um, the Collectively, we can bring to the table to employees uh, programs that they really want, we think. Yeah, that's great. And maybe a follow-up to you on that, John, is um, corporate training, at least anecdotally, during a recession is, is the first, first thing to get cut. Have you seen that to be true this time around? Um, any comments on that? We haven't seen that at scale uh, to this point. Um, this really is a K-shaped recovery and the companies that uh, have knowledge workers are uh, thriving right now and looking to retain those employees and, and, and train them for the next uh, for their next uh, promotion. Um, a lot of the companies that have struggled were companies that were generally struggling regardless and, uh, and not looking to, uh, to add education benefits. So, so far, the shape of this recovery is that that hasn't happened, but you know, we're keeping our eyes open. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's, it's um, certainly true that employers have uh, looked at support for learning and development and tuition assistance a little differently. If you look back to the Great Recession, uh, employers spend on tuition assistance dropped slightly. Um, learning and development dollars did decrease, uh, but most employers in that period retained the benefit, tuition assistance benefit. And we're actually seeing with most of our partners now, even as they have laid off or furloughed parts of their workforce, they've sustained that tuition assistance benefit. So. You know, there are a couple of partners that Strategic has worked with for a long time who were hit hard by, you know, the pandemic, had to furlough tens of thousands of people, but ensured that they kept the tuition assistance education benefit. And actually, a lot of their employees um, uh, actually used that benefit during the, the period in which they, they weren't working, gained skills, and have come back to the employer with, with, with a better set of skills. And feel good about that employer partner. The other thing I'd, I'd highlight is um, on the kind of who's missing out here. One thing we know about a lot of frontline and mid-skilled jobs is no secret to those of those of 
of you kind of listening to this forum today is there's huge variability in these frontline and mid-skill jobs. And much of that variability of getting kind of your low performing employee to the median and your median employee to the 80th percentile is a gap that can be solved by you know, skills training and, and education. And so connecting the right programs, um, both geographically to the employee base, but also the right programs to suit the skill needs of that employer are, are one of the things we are aiming to do through the partnership with Noodle. That's great. And maybe Terry, just to expand on that a little bit, tell us about the Workforce Edge program partnership and why did you decide to partner with Noodle and how is it different? How is Workforce Edge different from some of the other solutions and platforms that are out there? Yeah, great uh, question. So for a little context, Strayer University has been around for 125 years, focused on serving working adults. Capella University has, is a dot-com startup about 30 years focused on online education. Both are predominantly online. And we've always worked with employer partners, large and small, um, mostly Fortune 1000s, to educate frontline workforce, think customer sales reps, um, business analysts. Um, and, and, and we've recognized that the choice that we can provide in our program is strong, but it's limited. Most employers know that their employee base needs a broad set of choices and programs that are relevant. And while we certainly can drive uh, and support employers' needs through our own programs, we've always been cognizant that we can't fulfill the right choice. So we've been looking for a partner for a long time who has a great network of universities, and we saw that in Noodle. I'll let John talk a little bit about um, what he sees as a benefit, but um, Workforce Edge is predominantly a platform that allows an employer and an employee to access their benefits, surface the right set of learning opportunities in our network, Noodle programs and Strayer and Capella programs, and then understand what the ROI is on the back end, because none of those things are really happening um, at the moment with the current platforms and networks out there. I, I think that's exactly right. Um, from Noodle's point of view, um, we had two issues. One, uh, having a partner with some substance and, uh, and some good technology um, with an underlying uh, structure of really good programs uh, to join ours into. And second, um, the shared commitment to lower the cost of higher ed. And uh, rather than set up an expensive uh, toll uh, road, um, take the savings where we're not chasing after students uh, uh, B to C and, and spending a fair amount of tuition just on that and putting it back in terms of financial aid. So between what the corporation can contribute and what the savings are, we can make tuition you know, far less expensive for students and that's a win for everybody. Great. And um, John, just given your past experiences in particular to you and in your experience, basically your market making, right? What are some of the challenges you anticipate? Or what, what's the biggest sort of hurdles you feel as you go down this path in terms of making that market um, between employers and, and the, the learners? Yeah, I mean, the first hurdle, which I think we've met is, is to find the right partner. The second is it's go to market. It is uh, the everyday work of meeting with uh, a corporate HR and heads of learning and, and, uh, and CFOs to make the case that this benefit has a terrific return on investment for the company, that we are the group that delivers the most value for that education dollar and, uh, and just plug it in, just, just knocking it down. Uh, the, this education space in general moves in cosmic time. And so, you know, you've got to be patient, but at the same time, we think we have uh, an alliance here that is uh, unique and, and very powerful. And, and we just can't wait to tell the story to each and every, each and every company. Right, and then how can how can folks get involved? Um, how do they reach out? And this is a this is an exciting exciting effort. Yeah, we we showcase our programs and the network together on WorkforceEdge.com. Um, it highlights the strategic education and Noodle partnership. It gives some 
an overview of what Workforce Edge does as a platform. Um, in shorthand, we think of it like a healthcare benefits platform for education or a perks at work. Um, essentially, it allows for employees to get access to the best network of education benefits at the best available prices and use that tuition assistance um, uh, benefit that we've seen is so important to drive skill acquisition in your workforce. And so we'd encourage anyone who's listening here to has both the challenge that your employee base is seeking ways to you know, be engaged um, as a workforce and gain new skills. And you know what skills you need as an organization to take a look at Workforce Edge, understand we've got this vast set of programs across Strayer, Capella, uh, and the Noodle set of programs that some of which are degrees, some of which are cert, some of which are sort, short form. And our intention is to really solve the the skills gap questions that are facing employers like you who are on this in this forum. What's nice about a network like the one we bring to the table of public universities like a UVA or U Michigan or um, U Tennessee or Pitt or uh, private uh, schools like Howard uh, or Emory or Tufts or Tulane or American um, is if an employer has specific needs for a specific kind of degree, between us, we can we can put it together, find the right program and bring it to the table. Wonderful. Thank you both so much for the time. No, thanks, thanks for having us. Thanks to the chamber.